So one of the things I wanted to take you guys through was my routine um, on holiday. Um, you know, it's something that not a lot of people talk about. We obviously have a season um, and then we kind of finish, disappear off on holiday. Um, but obviously being a professional rubber player, you kind of got to keep your head on the, on the game. So I'm going to take you guys through a little bit of a routine. We're actually just power walking down to the gym um, at the moment to do... Uh, to a little bit of a holiday session. Um, I try to keep my training fun, but also with a, a basis in my kind of day job, which is uh, obviously playing rugby. So it's not about trying to get bigger. Um, I'll always start a session with a little bit of mobility um, and then, you know, go into uh, maybe a bit of light strength worth. Obviously you've got to see what the, the hotel gym's got. Maybe do a little bit of upper body or lower body and then do some kind of fitness training. Ideally on a treadmill, I like to keep running because when you get back into season and you do that first kind of pre-season fitness training and you're like, oh my God, I haven't run for five weeks. This is going to be, this is going to be hell. So uh, I'll take you guys through it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and uh, I'll go back into a little bit more detail when I'm actually doing it. So I've come to the outside gym. Beautiful little setup. My friend, sexy bum. Um, and we've obviously got a limited kind of setup here. Um, the things you can do, there aren't many free weights. I actually do like machines. I think you can make a, a good session out of machines. They're quite hard, obviously. Some of them have limited weights. It's actually pretty easy to, to create a session. What I normally look at um, for during the kind of off season is something that's... Oh. Hydrate. Hydration, key. Um, I'm actually chewing some caffeine gum as well. Mm. What I try to look for um, when putting my sessions together is it's a bit of um, maintaining my, my body. So, um, you know, will I keep a bit of strength, just a little bit of kind of muscle mass on, um, which I'm gonna do a little bit of hypertrophy stuff. And then I'll look at doing some fitness stuff at the end. A, probably for a little bit of a fat burning um, element, which I'll kind of do some miss or I'll do some hit, which is quite helpful on the, on the, on the fitness uh, side. And that'll kind of be treadmill sprints or if they have a treadmill bike. Uh, I very rarely use a cross trainer. Um, but actually, if you're going to do miss um, stuff, it's actually not too bad, or lists even. Uh, then I'll just watch a James Bond movie and sit there for 45 minutes and watch. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is a bit of machine press uh, with some lat pull down. Then I'm going to do some shoulders um, with some lat raise and reverse flies. And then I will finish with um, some kettlebell curls and some tricep uh, push downs. And then I'm going to do uh, probably 12 um, sprints on the treadmill, which will be... 25 seconds on, 45 seconds off, 12 times. I may actually do a little bit more as I was taking the caffeine gum and I'm already feeling like I'm buzzing and I'm obviously gonna have the tunes on in my ears. So first things first, when you're on holiday and you haven't trained for a little bit is you've got to kind of do your warm up, uh, gonna get the middle body moving. So I'll just do some dynamic stuff, some back rolls, some calf stretches, some hamstring work, some adductor work, hip flexors, get my neck, my back, my shoulders and stuff moving. Ideally, I kind of do some banded stuff, AKA the, uh, the, the supple leopard method, but obviously I haven't uh, got a band with me, which is a bit of an uh, oversight for me. I normally take one. I do have a little ball for rolling my, uh, for rolling my feet with, um, but you know, I like to get real warmed up before I start because you can get overexcited. You're using machines and stuff that you don't normally use. Uh, foot position can be different. Um, setup can be different you can end up kind of causing yourself a bit of injury. First thing I do is a bit of chest press um, using this. Again, the whole idea is not trying to, to put on any size. It's kind of just to get a little bit of a pump through the muscles, try to maintain um, a little bit of strength and just keep your body kind of ticking over. So I will do kind of hypertrophy um, numbers, but again, it's not about trying to get any bigger. And then we're going to go on to do a su uh, superset with uh, under grip lap pull down. Again, kind of um, 10 reps not trying to you know, do too much uh, muscle building just to keep things sticking over. So I'm gonna hit up a little bit of shoulder press, some kind of incline rows, and then some lat raise. The last part of this session is a little bit of uh, reverse row, some kettlebell bicep curls, and back to the old pull down, but for tricep. Push down. Another little trick on holiday to try to keep the uh, the carbs from destroying you or having a few extra drinks is keeping your rest real tight. I always give myself a minute rest in between supersets, making sure that I, um, I'm really strict. So you get a little bit of extra fat burning, a little bit less recovery, keep your heart rate up, just keep able to work. It's really important to note that I obviously do take um, some time off post season. I'll probably take 10 days off, not doing anything. That'll be relaxing, eating what I want, drinking what I want letting my body recover. We don't get a lot of recovery as 
professional players. So it's important to just kind of relax. My training here is, is fun, it's kind of purposeful. I'm not trying to break any world records. And whatever happens, how much training you do, by the time you start pre-season, every session is going to be hell anyway, and you're never going to you're never going to find it easy because you'll just be that little bit fitter. So make sure you're enjoying it and don't go mad. Now the idea behind a lot of this training on holiday is obviously it's fun. It's important to keep on a little bit of muscle mass because being a fresh rubber player, you get loads of bumps and bruises and little niggles, um, and your natural reaction is say you've got a sore shoulder, is to kind of rest. And then don't do lift weights, don't do any training on it. And that means that you'll lose um, muscle mass around the area, which instead of actually helping you by resting, you're actually making the injury worse because you haven't got the, the strength, the muscle mass, holding everything together, giving you that ability to function. So I had a problem with my AC, so sore, didn't train for ages, thinking I was helping it, resting it, not putting pressure through it. And it just got worse and worse and worse. As soon as I started doing proper rehab, keeping that muscle mass, keeping that bulk on, it meant that the, the, the pain subsided and I was able to get treatment on the actual area, but all the connected tissues, all the bits and pieces were still strong, which gave it that support. So that's why a lot of people, when they finish playing professional sport or playing sport, end up feeling way worse because they say, do you know what? I've trained for 20 years. I'm not gonna train anymore. I'm not gonna do anything. And they end up falling apart. So that's why on holiday, I like to keep these ticking over keep looking after the body, keep maintain, maintaining a bit of size. And let's be honest, burning off some of them pizza carbs and carbs in general and extra fats and mojitos and white wine and etc. etc. So I'm onto the cardio now, um, done my weights. Uh, it's just the lady cleaning my machine for me as we get ready to go. Um, can I jump on there, is that okay? Let's see, I'm just gonna use this uh, treadmill now. Um, for some um, incline sprints. So it's gonna be, um, probably put it on eight or nine incline, running for 25 seconds, off for 45 seconds, um, 12 times. Uh, pretty much flat out, um, obviously making sure that you work real hard. So in the 45 seconds, just as you've recovered, you're ready to go again. So the hit stuff I'm gonna do now is gonna have a couple of benefits. Obviously, I have the fat burning element, which I would've got from doing the weights as well. Short rest, lifting quite heavy, 10 reps. Again, I'll explain why I'm doing that. And then treadmill wise, with the hit, we're also gonna get that fitness element, but we're also gonna get the fat burning element, which I think is better for me than kind of doing lists, which is that low intensity cardio, which is like sitting on a bike for 40 minutes, just turning your feet over. I do some mist stuff, um, which I'll do tomorrow, which will kind of be, you know, heart rate at 150, keeping that at 150 for 30 minutes. Um, but my heart rate now should spike probably up to about 200, 190, 200. Um, it may go higher than that uh, because I was having a few drinks last night. Um, anyway, I'll uh, crack on. So there, there you have session done. Uh, don't want myself to put yourself into a hole, but I had the caffeine gum and got carried away. Rank. <laughs> 